Hey guys! Hey guys! Our next vlog in Rand Pal, South Sulawesi. We are still at our homestay, that's our house. Right there, how cool is that? And we're not actually seeing the funeral today. We are going to see one now. We've been told there is one tomorrow. So our next vlog will be the funeral, which is going to be crazy. But yeah. this one, we're exploring. Yes, and for the funeral, we actually got ourselves a guide, so we will find out all the information. Yeah. But anyway, today is still exciting. We are going to leave. We're going to see some places around, yeah, and we'll tell you about it when yeah. we get there. So we're going to explore this area, what we didn't see yesterday. But our house is so cool. We're staying inside there. Yeah. Go! So we had a quick stop because look how beautiful it is here. Look at that. A bit cloudy, but wow. Yeah. And the other side. You can hear all the metal things flapping in the wing. People working on the rice fields. It's quite awesome, yeah? The hills, the mountains in the background. And the cockerels. And a traditional house up there. Wow. Look at that. Really cool, yeah? So yeah, we're going to carry on. Nice little village. It is actually, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah? So, we'll be right. Yeah, we'll be right. Hello. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> oh, wow. Not so chilled out, doggy. I think we go this way. We're almost there now. Nice little cul de sac area. So they got an expensive pool. Should we go up? Should we go up? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so first thing. Londa. Londa. So, first thing, we got attacked by people to wanting to take a picture of us. This is a, bit, a little bit like overwhelming. Second thing, ticket. Third thing, buy a rental lamp. Rental lamp, yeah. yeah. So we said we got uh, we've got lights on our phones, and they said, oh, it's not they, enough. You won't be able to take pictures. Enough, but it's fine. <coughs> but we'll see. We forgot a little torch. Yeah, a little head torch. Oh well. Yeah. So we're getting our first views of it now. Oh my god. This is a uh, Londa ancient graveyard. So again, if you saw our last vlog, there was a lot to do with graveyards, fun funerals and stuff. That is the big thing here. So as you can see, this is a natural cave just filled with coffins. Look at this. Look at all of them stacked on top of each other here. So this is from the funeral. Yeah. This is one funeral. Must have been bigger or it's going to be happening, do you think? It's all the same person. All the same person. Mm. And, oh yeah, right up there. Mm. A few up there, like one hanging. Oh, there. Yeah. Wow. It's like a children's one. I assume this is the ladder to get up to this, where they've made all the figures of the people who have died. The effigies. That is... Wow. And one in the style of the traditional house. Okay, let's go in. Okay, you won't like this. So. Crows? Oh my co god, look, coffins. The coffins, coffins on the top of us. Yeah, probably there. Clothes. Bones. Oh my god. They're just like bones on the floor. Yeah. So it'll be this way then I guess. A bit drier here, which is good, yeah. Skulls. Shoes. A body that has fallen out. The body's fallen out there. Oh my goodness, this is yes, the body fell out. Jesus. Bones, another coffin. Sugar, sugary shops. Ah, dribble. Oh. 
Oh, the, is that the Romeo and Juliet? Maybe. There is a story about uh, two uh, people. Got some microphones. About a couple, a guy and a girl, who fell in love in a big city, and then uh, they came to introduce to their village uh, themselves, like the other halves, to their family, and turn up they were second cousin, and they were not allowed to marry, so they hanged themselves here. Okay, they hang themselves, and maybe that's their stories. Photo. What is it? Picture? Yeah, yeah. Is that Romeo and Juliet? No. No, there. Down there. Not a manuscript. Ah, Ah, Should this be the last bit? I, do, I can't get in there, you can look. Okay. It's a child one, Let's go back, okay? Because I don't want to get lost. I can like wait here, and you look there. Let me have a look. Okay, you wait there. Anything? Coffin, picture of a man, big spider. And it keeps going. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of pictures taken right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Yeah, yeah. From I'm from South Sulawesi. Sulawesi. Yeah, Sulawesi. Okay. Yes, there it is. Can you find it? Can you find it? Can you find it? Can you find it? Good. Where are you from? England. 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 And Polandia. I don't know. Where are you from? Polandia. Polandia. Oh, <laughs> okay, so we had about a 20 minute photo sesh. Yeah, very friendly people. Very friendly, though. very yeah, friendly. Very friendly. They like not, they live not that far. Yeah, but they, some of them are asking, how come you came here to see this? And we're yeah. just like, this is so fascinating. Like, they probably don't understand how fascinating we find this. Mm. But so you got these wooden effigies here, they're called Tao Tao's. And they very closely look like the deceased buried here. Yeah. Even the, like they try to put the wrinkles and everything on them. Yeah, the, so they're very intricate details put on these effigies. So they use uh, jackfruit wood for the carvings of these effigies. As I said, they very, very closely resemble the people who are buried in these coffins. Yeah. And the jackfruit wood, like, yellows as it ages. Like to closely resemble the colour of human skin. Yeah, like we would. You've never, I've never seen anything like this in the world, ever. And apparently the higher the coffin, the more important, more status the person has. So, yeah, like way up the top there, they must have been very important. And the actual cave is what came first, and that's hundreds and hundreds of years old inside the cave where you see bones and coffins and stuff. I wonder like, um, so if this is all the most important people there, what if there is a more important person than the, and there is no more space? I don't know. Or maybe there is a new one there. Do they carve think? it? Surely they, do you think? Actually, because they look very old, but there is a new one there. Right see? at the top, yeah. Yeah, so maybe they just carve a new hole. Maybe. Yeah, it's quite interesting. The Tarajans believe the dead can take with them the wealth that they had to the afterlife. And that's another reason why they bury them so high up here, is they bury the treasure with them protect to protect it from thieves and things like that. So that's fascinating. So that's another reason why it's so high. And the higher they put it, the closer they are to reaching the afterlife, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Like when, once you start like learning about this, it all makes sense. Yeah. Because, yeah, why, like, usually people bury the bodies under the ground. 
closer to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> so the reason we did turn around, we went a fair way into the cave, but they are, they can actually get to a thousand meters deep. And imagine me and Kasia just with our phones, we'd very much get lost in the cave with loads of dead bodies. It's not a kind of situation we want to be in. But hey, it was kind of cool to watch. And there's one effigy there that's really creeping me out. So let's have a quick look in here. Look at all the cigarettes. So obviously people have been giving money, cigarettes, visiting them. Look down there. We've never been to, we've been to like a place um, in Peru where you could find bombs all over, but not like this. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, God. Okay. Look at this. Wow. Wait, let me come with my torch. The coffins are kind of like haphazardly put on top of each other, it looks like. Do you see? They're new coffins as well. Look, you can see like You can see like in. The coffins? Yeah, look. Yeah. Oh, this is a new one. I I think we spend more pic doing pictures than sightseeing. But anyway, off to our next location. So we have arrived to Lemo, our next stop. Rather nice short drive. Yeah, and everything, if you stay Lemo in Village. Power, everything's very close. And just looking at these traditional houses here. Oh, this one so these are, I guess, no longer used as houses, but the roofs are like growing stuff on them. Definitely falling apart. Well, I'm going in. Okay. So that's inside, this old one. A bed there, living area, maybe a kitchen. So that's what it looks like inside the house. Huh? No, it's abandoned. And these places wouldn't be, these villages wouldn't be complete without some sort of cool graveyard. Oh Hello. Awesome. Yes. yes. So this is the less touristy one, it's a little bit cheaper, we pay 20,000 each. Uh, because it's less, there should be, hello, there should be about hello. 70. 70, so these are actually holes carved into the rock and it costs them a lot of money to make these graves. So that's 2,100 pounds around to carve these graves in there. We read some legend, we're not sure exactly if it's correct, that uh, the According to that, there used to be uh, some chief's house on the top and all his uh, des des descendants. descendants are buried here and it's about yeah, 70 um, graves. Or... And like the last one we saw, you can see the wooden effigies of the people just there. We're going to go closer, we just yeah. had a little overview, so let's go. So this is where they make the effigies of the dead people. Oh. So this is a close-up of what they look like, some of them. The wood all yellow over time, but very similar. <laughs> over a thousand pounds for one of these figures. Oh, that's the necklace you wore. Okay, so we're heading towards the burial. So that guy, so talented, uh, the guy there, makes those wooden things for the burials. And it, it's generation after generation, his whole family have been carving them. So their statues are actually the ones here. So let's head up. So they estimate this, these graves are back, head back to the 16th century. And so there's more to it. Look at this. Look at the graves here. Oh, hello. There are at least about 75 holes in the wall. 
So look at this. So look at that door. It's like a door to a vault. And one of those people up there is in that vault. Or maybe both of them. And that's a bit of a closer look. So this lovely lady is in here. And all these offerings. Not litter, nothing like that. They're offerings. And this is, look how detailed. You got down to the veins. And this is the lady that would have been there. And at the moment she's sheltering us from the rain. Thank you. The difference here is from the other graves, this one's formed by humans. Mm -hmm. Like the holes in the rocks are carved out. Whereas the natural one like uh, Londa, it's just the cave that's there and then they attach stuff to the side mm -hmm. of the rock. And I think this part must be new, so we're going to head to the other part. There's another part to it. Yeah, the place for you. And then you come here, and then you look at this. Beautiful view. Wow. Wow. Look at that. It's like that many, yeah? It's like grave site surprises you, like honestly, each one we go to. Because we were thinking not to go to many, we were just thinking to go to one because you have to pay for each one. But each one is unique. Yeah, yeah. Look at Fascinating. It yeah. So higher is a uh, more important person. This must have been an important person. This must have cost a lot of money yeah. to do something like that. And look at them. All with hands out. All with hands like out. An interesting fact is the religion, main religion here is Christian. Christian? Yes, Christian. Yes, so <laughs> you, <laughs> this is very different than like in any, like at least I'm from Poland, so we like dip, we put people in the ground without scary. Lizard. But I guess Dan is from England, so he puts um, people on his uh, fireplace. Fireplace. And then you've got the cliffs. Kind of reminds me of, I don't know, Vang Vieng? I'm not sure really, actually. Yeah, the lower. So you can tell these are just smaller holes carved with just like old wooden doors where the bodies are here. I can't see the effigies for these ones unless they're over there, back with there, I'm not sure. But this path's taken us around. We're not sure if we're going to see more. It's like, it's so random that you, you see... walk around and... And there's an open coffin. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like it's so random. Was is there supposed to be someone in there that we're going to meet later? Yes, yeah, so it's definitely more to it than I thought because I was looking. We read that it's about seventy-five or more, at least seventy-five, but it didn't look like it. Wow! You can see bones. Bone? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Photo. Yeah. Yeah. Photo, photo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, where do we, where yeah. do you want us from? Okay. Can do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back on our bikes and to the next place. Okay, trying to find our next location. We kind of had to park up. I was being followed by certain of doggies. We had to park up and walk a bit to try and find it. But uh, it took us through someone's house and the person's house who it took us through is now showing us the way like a long way from her house so, how kind ah oh, there it is one two three four five five babies so there are many of these about and they are known as baby graves let me show you a bit closer and the baby graves are in the tree So behind these, in this, are babies, unfortunately. And as I say, in this area, there are many baby graves, but this is how they're buried here. So when a baby dies before having teeth, uh, a small hole is carved into the trunk of this tree, just big enough for the baby's body to fit in. Then the mother wraps the body in cloth and places it inside. And the hole is then sealed with bark. And as the tree heals over the time, the tree trunk will ab absorb the body. And the higher the tree grows, closer the baby gets to this um, heaven. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. And after 16 years, their body reached the land of the souls. Yeah. That's yeah, like a really cool, yeah. like fascinating way to bury children. Mm -hmm. So this is her family, some of her family is inside this tree. Oh. So just like everywhere, you see graveyards everywhere. They have these everywhere because really? this is just what they do. It's not like the main touristy one. There are very touristy ones where you'll see tourists go to, which are marked on the map. But we found this one just randomly and it's just a local family's one. And just to show you like authentically, this is what they do here with uh, the babies that die. But now we're, we're going back with this lady. There we go. That's so kind of that lady. Yeah. Incredibly, we just, yeah, she was doing her work and then looked outside and there's the two of us just standing <laughs> on her property. <laughs> It's and like Kasha just said baby grave and she nodded and just walked us all the way there. Yeah, I was expecting to be charged. Now I feel like we should have paid her. Yeah, it was already a bit of a depressingly morbid vlog with all the graves. We thought we'd make it a bit more depressing with the baby graves. So now we're going to end on a light note and hopefully get some fantastic views. We've got a 50 minute drive ahead of us. Yeah. So we're going to put the GoPro away and then show you when we get there. So the next time you see us, hopefully we're at the viewpoint. And after a 50 minute drive, we have arrived. It was mountainous, windy roads. Yeah. And we've come to Lolai viewpoint. I love Lempe. I love Lempe. So let's show you this viewpoint. Look at this. Oh, wow. You can go down. Look at that. So when, if you come first thing in the morning, the clouds are low and it's just you're above the clouds. Mm. We were tempted, we tried, we set the alarm actually. Yeah. 10 past 5, we set the alarm and the owner said that she's supposed to give us a, the key and stuff then. But we messaged her, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, it's too early and we went back to sleep. The only thing is very cold, we got very cold. It's like it would be very bright and green, but because it's like cloudy, it's a bit foggy. Yeah. So uh, I guess it's a little bit like in Ubud in um, Bali, yeah? Yeah. Uh, but the amazing thing is this is very non-touristy. Non-touristy, yeah. yeah. This Which is, is a great. tourist attraction, but one of the tourist attractions here, we are, a guy just was taking video of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's cool, just dotted with these traditional houses. You can just see the roofs, the curved roofs, just dotted throughout the hills. Ah, oh. so we're going to sit on the bench with this view. We will enjoy it and I think this is it for this vlog. But this vlog. again, don't forget the next ones are going to be the most interesting. The most crazy, most insane. You might have seen some weird stuff on this one, but the next one's going to be... Even we're dead. It's going to be... It's, yes. Uh, not everyone might want to see what we're going to show, mm -hmm. but anyway, it's going to be fascinating. So about today, it was very interesting. The villages their yep. culture uh their story why they do what they do yeah. um very interesting that they're christians and they just have got their own different traditions than everyone else it's a very very unique uh, region and most of people come here to see that most people come to this region for what we're going to do tomorrow mm -hmm. uh and all this other extra stuff is just part of it sort of uh but you'll see tomorrow what we're gonna do so yeah we've had a really good day so we really love this place so far really looking forward to our next one and uh, enjoy the view bye